Hello there. We're having a look at linear relationships in this video and in this first video we're looking at the number plane. Let's remind ourselves of the number plane. The number plane is also known as the Cartesian plane because a guy called René Descartes uh, invented it. So we call it the Cartesian plane. And the number plane has a few parts to it we'll have to uh, remind ourselves of. Uh, you might know this already but we'll just uh, warm up by running through it again. We have the x-axis, which is the horizontal axis, tells us how far across a certain point is. And we have the y-axis, we call that the vertical axis, tells us how far up or down we're, uh, we're talking about. And the origin is where the x and y-axis meet each other. And the point, the coordinates of that origin are the point 0, 0. We'll talk about coordinates in a moment. Each uh, point on the number plane has a set of coordinates. Uh, it has an x value, an x coordinate, and a y coordinate. And together they make up what we call an ordered pair, or a set of coordinates. So starting from the origin, depending on the x and y numbers that we have, the x value, that'll be a number in a point, tells us how many places to go across. Now if the x is positive, it tells us to go to the right. If that first value in the uh, in the brackets there is negative, it tells us to go to the left. So we'll start off from the origin and we'll work on the x values first. The y values, the second digit in the uh, or the second number in the ordered pair, tells us uh, how many places to go up or down. And a positive y value will tell us to go upwards, and a negative y value tells us to go downwards from wherever we're operating. Okay, so the point 2,4, let's run through a few examples. The point 2,4, starting from the origin, that first value there, that x value, is a 2, so that is positive. So that tells us to go from the origin, as our starting point, uh, the right two places, like the arrow uh, indicates there. We've gone from the origin, right two places. And the because the second digit, the y value in this case, is a 4, we'll need to go up 4 from where we're up to. So first off, we start off at the origin, uh, right here. We uh, go across 2, because it was a positive 2 in the x value there. And then we go from there, from where we're up, from where we're up to, uh, up 4. And we'll put a blob, or a dot, and we'll uh, label it the point 2, 4. So we're going to cross to the right and up 4 places. Now if we are trying to locate the point on the number plane uh, described by the ordered pair minus 3, 1. Now that first digit, that x value, is a negative. So this tells us down here that a negative x value tells us to go to the left. So we'll go to the left three places. Uh, I'm sorry, I've gone backwards there. Okay, <laughs> gone to the left three places. And then from there, because the second value is a 1 and a positive, we'll go up 1. And that's where our dot will be put there. So that would indicate the point minus 3, 1, which we will label. Anytime there's more than one point on a number plane, we really should label it to save confusion. Okay, now both of these values are negative. So a negative uh, x value says to go to the left, so we'll go to the left four places. And a negative y value tells us to go down from there. So we'll go down five places, and that's where the point minus 4 minus 5 will be, and we'll label it as such. And our final example of uh, placing points on the number plane involves the point 3 minus 2. The x value is positive, so we'll go to the right three places, and the y value this time is negative, so we'll go down from there two places, and position the point there and label it. So we've got four points there, um, and we've uh, located those four points by moving across, left or right, depending on whether the first digit in the uh, the first number in the ordered pair is positive or negative. And then from there, from our uh, our position after the movement of the x, uh, we'll go either up or down, depending on the value of the y number in our ordered pair. Okay, we consider there to be four quadrants on the number plane quadrants or quarters and uh, the first quadrant is up on the right top right hand corner and uh, that's where we have a positive x value and a positive y value that's how we would get to that first quadrant 
all the points in that first quadrant have positive x values indicating that we've gone to the right from the uh, origin and positive y values indicating we've gone up from there. The second quadrant is where we've had to move left so that first value in the ordered pairs there would be negative but we're still going up so our second value, our y value in our ordered pair would be positive in that quadrant. Then we've got the third quadrant down there and we can see by this uh, example point here that that involves a negative uh, x value meaning we've had to go left from the origin and down so both the uh, x and y coordinates in the third quadrant would be negative and the fourth quadrant is a combination of a positive x value and a negative y value so depending on the different numbers we've got in our ordered pairs we might find ourselves in the first second third or fourth quadrants and that's uh, knowing our way around the number plane. That's just a bit of a warm-up. You might have seen some of those facts before, but it's good to remind yourself of those before we have a look at um, some uh, more complex issues with lines or sets of points. Uh, thanks for listening. And uh, like uh, always, there's plenty of videos available for you to check out at peterblakemaths.com if you need some help or just a bit of revision. See you again soon for some more on lines.